And let's go to our New York studios and go inside her story with Jackie Reed. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning. Good morning, Jay. How are you? I'm doing good. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. I need you to be easy this morning because we're talking celibacy. And specifically, we're talking about can women be celibate? Just in time for Valentine's Day? Yes. Well, can you be celibate and be in a relationship? You can be celibate and still have a man. It is. Right, ladies? Well, this is what we're going to talk about because... Celibacy is basically, you know, it, it gives you an opportunity to rejuvenate yourself physically and emotionally. You get to focus on other things. Why Stop do you want to date her? <laughs> <laughs> Taking a break gives you an opportunity to dis- rediscover, you know, yourself mentally and personally. And you can even explore yourself physically if you That's want to. Like a lot of fun. All those things. Yeah, I want to take that to the movies. <laughs> so wait. How- how do you do this and get a man, or how do you do this and keep the man that you already have, the one that you've been having sex with? I'm going inside her story with relationship expert James, Stephen James Dixon, who is the author of Men Don't Heal, We Ho. He's a regular on CNN. Men Don't Heal, We Ho. Magazine. Yes, I'm sure he had you in mind when he wrote that. Uh, good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning. What up, um, Stephen, man? Morning, Jay. Jay, how you now doing, you- man? Oh, don't acknowledge him, Steve. Don't acknowledge him. <laughs> it's not okay, a, now, it's now, now let's get right to it, because you wrote an interesting article um, for Essence Magazine about celibacy and kind of being in a relationship. You say for a woman who is practicing celibacy and, you know, let's say she meets a man, she has to bring more to the table. What do you mean? If she's not having sex, what else should she be bringing to the table? That, that we're asking men the wrong question. We're saying, will you wait for sex? And what we should be saying is, will you wait for the woman? In order for the man to know what he's waiting for, the woman has to show him the quality of woman that she is. So just like Jay just said, why would I take her to the movies? And and so we 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 have to have women, and I'm trying to teach women that. And actually, if you show your woman a lot earlier, that the relationship will move along a lot faster. So it's actually benefiting women a lot. I have a lot of women reaching out to me saying, hey, you know, I kind of lost this traditional value. Um, One of the problems with relationships is today that a lot of women would, you know, would give up their sex before they'd be willing to show the quality of woman they are, you know, with cooking a meal or drawing a man a bath or doing those type of traditional things or whatever. And so it's a challenge. It's definitely a challenge out the one. You cook me a meal and draw me so a bath, I want to have sex. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying well, women should cater to, to a woman you, should Steve. cater to a man before he's her man? She should be it's, catering to him a little bit more? Catering is a strong word. What I'm saying to women is, is that you have to give a man a reason to wait. And so you show the man the quality of your woman, and then if he doesn't respond to the quality of your woman, then you move on. And so one of the number one principles I have for women is to date more and to leave earlier. So I don't want women in five-year relationships and all that kind of stuff messing around. Show your woman. There's too many women that are sitting around. Right now with dating, what happens is a man takes a woman out, takes her out to eat, takes her to the movies, spends his money, gets car doors, pull out car, car seats and all that kind of stuff. Well, the woman has really just been cute and had good conversation. That's not going. That, I'm, I'm not going to wait for that. I'm not going to wait for cute and conversation. I can get that anywhere. Huh? How's it working out for you, Jackie? I, you know, this is not about me, Tom. Join. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, is, Stephen James Dixon. No, it's not. <laughs> Always so, about you. <laughs> it is not about me. It's about the, the 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 millions of black women who tune into this show who want some advice and guidance as they deal with their relationships. And celibacy is something, Tom, that a lot of women. I, you know, when I talked to Sherry Shepard when we did that Nightline thing, she told to me she told me that she's she was practicing celibacy. She was dating a man, and now she's engaged to be married. Now, I don't Nobody know how long she stayed no, no. celibate. Hey. hey, I'm just saying, she practiced celibacy, and she was telling me that it was tough for her. Well, did she? Did, that's, did that's she pick I don't know way. if she did it up until they got engaged, okay. but for a while when they were dating, she practiced it. So a lot of women, Tom, but your are guest doing said, it. Your guest said that you're supposed to step it up to, you know, well, you're not. And I want to be clear on that, Stephen. You're, you're saying show him... Your woman. Show the man your woman. So a reason saying, for you to hold out. Exactly. Show the man the quality of your woman. However you got however you can do that, whatever you can do, just don't depend on your conversation of being cute. Well, uh, a man you aren't sex and you ain't Well should you should, what if you man, wanna what if you wanna wait man. until you get married? And you gotta you gotta show the man that he, you're worthy of that of that man waiting on you. And well, so give it's not the women some tips, Stephen, like what? You said cut the man draw a bath, like what else? Uh, absolutely. Like I write about a lot of my book, how the woman I married would come by my house and she would add value to my house. She might, you know, bring a $10 vase or, 
you know, uh, suggest uh, candles or things like that. She came and in and said, hey. You rather have that than sex. Yeah. And, and, how far, <laughs> and how intimate are we talking when we're saying about, you know, being celibate? Uh, in terms of the physical oh, yeah, relationship, so we'll break it down, uh, each, each woman has to know <laughs> where she is and, and, and what she can do. Each woman, if, if kissing is inappropriate for you or you can't handle that, you shouldn't do that. You have to set that type of a uh, direction when a man, you know, you're, you're inter entertaining a man. You have to say to a man, hey, kissing is not good for me or physical touch is not good for me or coming to my house is not good for me or whatever. You have to be, it's, your, it's the woman's he responsibility. Said you're not good for me. <laughs> so it's a woman's responsibility to show a man. This is the quality of woman that I am. This is why you're waiting on me. I'm special. I'm unique. Um, I have these qualifications. I will be Are a great married? wife, a great mother. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've been married now for almost five, six years. And did you all have that celibate agreement before? Not at all. Um, but I write about when I was celibate. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. We were, we, well, you we went in and out. Now. now you want everybody else to hold up, huh? Actually, man, it was from a lot of women reaching out to me saying, hey, how long should I wait before I have sex with a man? What should I do? Or I'm celibate. Can I get a man? And I told a lot of women, when you're celibate, you're not trying to date the average man. You're, you're above average now. So your pool of men of what you want, you should be dating is different. So don't be trying to date me when I was single. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying you, you have a different quality of man that you're looking for. So you have to also show that you're a different mm -hmm. quality of woman. Mm -hmm. So, so a man of better quality would be willing to wait if you're a woman of quality. Exactly, and that's what women of quality should want, right? That's that's what they're looking for. And so I'm well, saying, let's. And is it understood between the couples that she's celibate and he's celibate, or is it? Is have you found cases where she's celibate, but it's okay for him to go out and get some? I haven't found that it was okay. Um, but it definitely needs to be something that's understood. I don't think any celibate woman, because if you're a celibate woman, that means you're understood. celibate because of your strong belief in God and things like that. So I don't think she's going to want a man that's running around with somebody else. Again, you're looking for a higher quality of man. If you're looking for a higher quality of man, then you're not going to accept your man sleeping around and all that kind of stuff. And like See, but what if you're early. in a relationship already, you're having sex, and then you decide as a woman, you know what, I want to be celibate because I want to focus on me and I want to you know, focus on what's going on with me mentally, spiritually, physically, and, and I want to make my relationship better. How, what advice would you give to a woman <laughs> who wants to do that, who wants to stop having sex for a period of time with her partner? That's a great question. That's one of the questions I got. And one of the, and the, and when the first thing I say to women in that situation is understand that celibacy is your own spiritual walk. That is yours. First and foremost, that's between you and God. So you can't well, expect you a man to take your walk. And you want to be celibate. Because a lot of people don't believe, there are people who don't believe in God. So how are they going to take that? That doesn't mean they're that, not that spiritual. Journey spiritual is not no, necessarily God. No, he said God. I'm going to go about what he just said. He said God. Well, how God, spirituality, how, however you want to determine or whatever, we, whatever reason a woman chooses not to have sex. That must be a reason that she cho chooses that. So if she chooses that, then she has to understand that she is making that walk alone. It's something that she's doing. Now, if the man happens to take that travel with her, that's great, but that's not you can't you can't put that on a man. You can't say, "Hey, I've made this this decision for our relationship." You can't make that decision for the relationship. You can make that that decision for you, and you can be independent of that decision and move on. And, and you know, just make sure you got a quality man that you're looking for. So one of the things I talk to women about is learning how to choose and define what is a quality man. And then once you find that man, now you can be that good one. And are you counseling Jackie? It's a celibate game. And you're like, are you? <laughs> it is not about me, Jackie Tom. Jackie doesn't need counseling, Tom. About She's it not. is weird. When your lecture is over, you go home and get something. That don't make sense to me. <laughs> oh, you want him to be as miserable as you are? No. <laughs> Celibacy was a good thing for you, huh, Stephen? Oh, yeah. I, I wrote about it in detail in my book where it helped me uh, just grow. Um, it helped me just clear my mind and understand what I wanted to be as a man. So it helped me a lot. And I encourage you. I mean, I'm married now, but I, I definitely encourage you. And can you, and, and can you help Jackie? I Jackie don't need help. Jackie, yes, you do. You have a whole TV show. You had a reality <laughs> TV show that told the world you needed some help. It, just, it said nothing about me needing help. Yeah, well, what? you need help. You really a do. lot of women, including a lot of listeners okay. here, connected and identified with you. Absolutely. Oh, I do not oh, need help. Okay. She's fine. I'm here to help. <laughs>